got a good fish on right now on the fly rod. Come on up, big guy. Okay, he's not that good of a fish, but he's good enough. He slammed this fly, though. This is a new fly I just got in the mail today, and this will be... Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another Genesee River fishing adventure. Today I'm going to be doing some fly fishing. Let me get this hook out of this guy. Ooh, buddy. We're doing some fly fishing this evening, and that's to start off our day. Yesterday I was out and I got skunked. I'll roll some footage. No. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oops. It just wasn't wasn't pretty at all. But here we are today, a new day. And I got this new fly in the mail. It's a fly that I'm sure if you're familiar with fly fishing for trout, you would know. It is called drunk and disorderly. It's pretty much like a a jerk bait, like maybe if you're using Rapala's. This thing has got great action. Oh, I think that was a fish. Yeah, that was a fish. Darn it. Maybe there's another one in there. There's a fish on. Oh. It's kind of a hefty boy. Oh, come back here. Aha. Nothing too, nothing too small yet, but nothing too big. Well, that is so fun to catch a fish on a fly. I tell you what. That's a lot of fun. I thought there was a fish there. It felt like there was a fish there. And there was a fish there. That's why they call it the drunken disorderly. It hits back and forth. Does many unpredictable movements. There's another one. <laughs> and that's, you know, that's what makes it so, so good, I believe. I'm just glad to have any fish hitting. Oh, this one's a tad bit smaller than the last. That, there's three fish in a pretty short amount of time. Maybe we'll find some more. Well, it's already been a blast. Maybe he's got a friend. Uh, he doesn't. Oh, he does! No! Oh, darn it! <laughs> darn it! Well, I think I need to just keep going downstream then before it gets too dark for me to fish because it seems like these fish are going to hit this. They're going to crush it. Oh, 
Oh, another fish on. Come on. And, oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. Well, he's kind of the smaller ones of the smaller one of the of the night so far. Not terrible though. Oh, his stomach is soft. <laughs> There we go, another one. You know, these aren't world record fish, but on a fly rod, they are fun. Used to be the honey hole, but I haven't fished this section in a long time. Not about a year, I guess, but. So I'm not sure if it's, oh, there's a fish. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I hope there's, <laughs> Bigger fish than that in here. Anyways, this used to be a really good section through here. Not even where I'm fishing right now. I'm kind of keeping the main section for last. There's a good fish. Ooh, yeah. I haven't seen him yet. I think that's a good one, though. Still haven't seen him. Oh my gosh, what the heck was that? Was that a beaver? Oh, come on, fish. This fish is a good fighter. Come on. Oh yeah, come here. Aha! I don't know what that was. That was probably a beaver. They're always, oh yeah, look at this fish. There always seem to be beaver everywhere I am. Woo hoo! Look at him. Okay, I'm gonna get a quick measurement of him for my own records. And we're going to put them back. No! Okay. <laughs> that was a nice fish. I cut another mini smallmouth. It's getting dark, but I'm still pressing. I better end my video now by just saying goodbye. Thanks, all of you who tuned in. This was, eh, well, it wasn't an extremely awesome day of fishing, but it wasn't bad. Not every day can be your best day, numbers-wise, but anytime fishing is pretty much good for me. Yesterday wasn't so much fun, but today definitely made, made up for that. Hope you're doing okay, and... Thanks again, and I'll see you next time, as long as the beavers don't eat me.